Hey, welcome back to the Edge, the special edition of the Super Bowl show. And we got the one and only Jordan Love. Hey, this is some controversy. I'm not sure I did really want him on the show today. I almost, you know, we almost had to tussle before he even sat down in here. Um, I don't know about all that, bro. It, it got intense. It was a, but it, it's all love though. Game time's love, over. We're we gonna get into it, bro. Great season. We, we we talked about you all year on the pod. We said you was the next up and coming. Um, we're gonna get straight into it though. You know, you threw for 4,159 yards, a uh, bunch of touchdowns. I mean, you led them to a playoff run. It didn't look good for y'all at first. Mm. It didn't look good for y'all. Mm. What what switched? Like, what, what switched into the program? Like, man, I, I feel like you go through phases in a season. And uh, we went through a, a tough phase, a losing phase, man, four, four straight. And uh, obviously, coming into the season, man, we knew it was going to be a process. We knew it ain't going to be easy. We got a lot of young guys. Um, obviously my first year as a starter, um, just a lot of new pieces that ain't been together. So, um, you know, we knew it was going to be a process early on and, um, man, we got in a funk and lost four straight and, uh, bro, went through that adversity. And I think that's what got us over that hump is ain't nobody was pointing fingers in the locker room. You know, you be on some teams, you lose everybody, man, you need to do this. You need to, ain't nobody was pointing fingers, man. Everybody's looking about how they going to get better, how they going to improve they self to, to help the whole team. And, um, Man, we was able to get over it, but it really was just execution, you know. Yeah, but what clicked for you though? Like you went to like they they was they saw you struggle a little bit. What clicked for you? Like what took you to that next level to get into that phase, get your team out that phase? Because then we're gonna get into the playoff run uh, mm -hmm. on what you had. But what clicked for you? Like I remember they was like, man, we should give up on them. We should get rid of them. Like how did you feel? Did you see it? Was you was you feeding into it, or was you like, man, I'm gonna just put my head down and work? Like let me get that feedback. Bro, you know, you see everything. You you don't try to see it, but you see everything. Yeah. Um, even when, I, 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 like, especially after losses, I'm not about to get on no social media. I ain't trying to see what people are talking about. I know they're talking crazy. Mm -hmm. um, but, man, I, I think from the start of the year, like, we, we was locked in. I was locked in. Um, you know, we started fast. We had our first game in Chicago, came out hot, beat up on them. And then, obviously, we got in that funk. I got in that funk, started throwing a couple picks, forcing the ball. Um and man, that's when I really locked it. After, after the Vegas game, I threw three picks that game. We lost. I threw a pick on the last play of the game. Um, after that game, I was like, man, I felt like I was hesitating out there. I would see stuff and, you know, I was processing. I would see it, but I, I'd hesitate to throw it. Um, and after that game, I was like, man, who cares? I'm, I know I got to trust myself. I know I'm a great player. I know I, I can read a defense right and uh, put the ball where I want it. So I just got to trust myself and let it rip and be confident out there. And uh, that's what it was, man. I just started trusting my receivers too. I knew I was I was going to give them chances to go up there and get that ball, man. And uh, we was throwing it up. Yeah, I was throwing it up, man. They, and they was making plays, and, mm -hmm. and you see, so uh, like you said, four thousand yards, thirty-two touchdowns, man. That that ain't a solo job, man. That's everybody. That's everybody. I love that, bro. And I think I think what people don't give you credit for, you did with, uh, and not saying anything against Rogers. I think Rogers is great, but. Um, Y'all struggled that year before. It was a mm -hmm. lot of like, is Rogers leaving? Is he retiring? Um, not a lot around him. Got rid of Devontae. But you kind of took that same team and went on a playoff run. Something that man, wasn't it wasn't the same team. People say it's not the same team. It was a different team, man. It, I, we it, had we had a lot of similar pieces. A lot of similar pieces. But we also got a lot of new pieces, and it was a, it was a, it was a whole different vibe. I feel like just the team we had year, that year to this year. Yeah. Um, but man, yeah, I mean, it's you can look at it like that, but. Um, it was tough, man. That, that that year before it was tough. We were in a position to obviously win the last game and get in the playoffs and lost to the Lions. It was a really good. Obviously, they they was rolling at the end of the year. Yeah, and they Not rolled lot, this year. They rolled over to this year, but they was a good team and um, that kept us out. And obviously, this year we was in the same spot. Had to win, beat the Bears to get in. Um, end up, you know, taking advantage of the opportunity. So, uh, but at the same time, bro, it it's a different team, man. It ain't the same team. Yeah. But same weapons, like you added Reed though. Reed was we a, added Jay Reed. He was uh, big. Reed was big. My boy Wicks. Yep. Um, we added two new tight ends that we ain't had a year before. I know because Tyron oh. he he went. Who? Tyron he went. Oh yeah, he went he to Chicago. Chicago. Yeah, we had Chicago. we had Luke Musgrave, Tucker Craft, man. So we we had some new pieces in there. Um, o line was was, was pretty similar. Um, you know, D Bot got hurt and uh, he was hurt last year too. But we we were missing him. Uh, but we had. New pieces, man, uh, in the skill position spots that it was different, man. It, it was a whole different vibe on the team. And how you think that energy? And we gonna get into the playoffs like right about now. Um, obviously, we faced off. You know, share your analysis with the game. Like, you know, 
youngest team to make the playoffs since 1978. Um, what was your game plan? Like, what was your game plan? It's y'all? Yeah. What was go win. Plan? That was our game plan, man. We better go win. Better go beat these boys. I mean, obviously, <laughs> y'all, y'all execute the game plan, but what, what was the strategy like? Who was y'all trying to eliminate? What was like some of the keys that y'all picked on? Uh, like, show us how you your growth, how you dissected the game, mm-hmm. what you thought we were in. Um, obviously, made it, uh, some great plays extending with your legs, mm-hmm. but just dive into what was your strategy, uh, philosophy of how to you know break down our defense. Yeah, man, I think the the key for us going into the game was we we needed to run the ball. Like that was a huge thing. Obviously, we played y'all the year before, and I felt like we ran the ball pretty well. So. Um, just going against y'all, I'm, like, I'm not trying to talk, but I, y'all, y'all linebackers, you know, I think y'all had a DB playing linebacker. Um, I don't know, but, like, that was our goal, was to be able to run the ball, and it was going to set everything else up. And obviously, uh, I think y'all biggest weapon is y'all pass rush. And so, um, great DBs over there, too, but I feel like they rely on the pass rush, you know what I mean? When you've got a great pass rush, you you thinking the quarterback going to get the ball out of his hands quick. And so we we were able to, you know, take advantage of that by, you know, getting some chips on you, slow you down a little bit. Uh, D. Lawrence, slow him down a little bit. But man, I knew I was going to have to hang in that pocket, take a couple hits from you, take a couple hits from those guys. Um, but I, the guys we had at, at receiver, man, I, I was confident that they were going to go out there and um, do what they needed to do against y'all DBs, yeah, sure. man. But, yeah, man, why was Aaron following me all game like that, bro? Aaron Jones? Yeah, I, I did we, not expect that out bro, of him. Bro, well, that's the thing. Our game plan, like, we, we have specific play calls where it's like, all right, we chipping. We're going to get the tight end, the running back chipping. You, we got, you know, stud jet protection where we, we going after the stud, man. You and But Jonesy in that game, bro, he did some phenomenal stuff. It was sometimes we was doing play action stuff where he just he, – he checking for, like, the nickel coming off the edge. And if he's not coming, he's supposed to get on his route. And – my fault. And he would feel you beat – one of our, our old linemen, and he would just bro, instinct I, just just go to chip you and, and help in bro, protection. I, it was unbelievable. Like it was on most of those inside rushes, I was like, no way he's supposed to be there, like, bro. He was not. He, and that's just that's just the player he is, where he's at in, in the league, man. To 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 know how good of a rusher you are, and just be able to pick you up and, and help, you know, give me some time back there. Because nah, there was a couple of them. If he wouldn't have did that, I don't know, bro. That, I, like, I, I don't like, know. Like, I'm coming up to sound like yo, like what like what is going on, like. That was tough. Like I, I, I'm not even gonna lie. I saw him yesterday. I was like, bro. I, like, I was like, I don't know if he was supposed to do that. Like he was just doing that. Like he freestyling out there and, and, and picking up and doing some great things. And he, he Jonesy, not the biggest dude, bro. Not he not, a, but he got a lot of heart, bro. Nah, he bro, did. He, he got a lot of heart right there. He did. I, I, I was, I was like, that was tough. That was, that was, that was tough. What, what's your craziest play call y'all got? Like, what's the like craziest play call? Like, right, you gotta write it down. You gotta like, like what, what is the name of y'all best play call? I'll write something down. I want like you, the I want longest you, I want play you call. I try to read it, memorize it. I'm going to say it to you. I want you to try and repeat it like you in a huddle as a quarterback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, exactly. let me think. Let me think and then I'm going to say, and then I'm going to try to dissect of what you're giving me. Like, I'm going to, because defense, like, our drone is like, and, and it's very simple. We could be like Tukey Dollar. You call what? Tukey Dollar. <laughs> Tukey yeah, Front. A two word call. Well, let me think of, let me think of a nice like, long call, man. Let's see here. This ain't even anything crazy, bro. But we'll start with this right here. Mm-mm-mm. I see like, I see like eight words, bro. Chill, 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 chill. <clears throat> you real locked in right now. Hey, bro. Bro, 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 bro. Hey, easy, 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 All right, here we go, bro. I'm going to read this. You want me to show you first? Yeah, let me see it. All right, here you go, here you go. Read, read that real quick and read it. Shift, fast, left. That's LT? That's what it mean? Fast, yeah, yeah, left. Fast, left. D, bang, three, scram, X, doodle or doodle? Doodle, doodle, doodle. Doodle, can, H, docky, docking. All right, all right. This this, this this is what you get in the headset, all right? It's it's third down. It's third and long right here. The clock's ticking, all right? We got 25 seconds, bro. All right, hey, Mike, are we going shift to fast left D, bang, three scram, X doodle, can, H docking. So, um, bro, say it, bro. The, 
The clock's going down, bro. Say the play. Hold up. Hold up. I, I bro, see. Shift to fast left D. Bang three scram X doodle. Can H docking. I can't do it, bro. Come on, bro. I can't. Hold Come on, on, man. Give me, give me one minute. Give me one Study minute. Study it one time, give, man. Give me one minute. Give me one minute. Give me one minute. Study it one time. I, I will say, you know, during the week, we get a whole week to, you know, study the game plan. We know what plays in, so it ain't on the spot how, like this. How many plays do y'all put in like this? Man, we only got a couple. Like, there's a couple actual long plays. I say we, we have a wristband every week, and that's where we put the longer ones on there, and they'll be probably about 30-something plays on there, 30 to 40. But that's a good part. See, that play, that's going to be a wristband play. They're going to be like wristband 25, and you're going to say that in the huddle. Okay, okay, okay. Shift fast left, D, bang, D, scram, X, do the can, H, docking. <laughs> you really over there trying to study it, man. You trying to memorize the play. Hey, we might see you in playoffs again. <laughs> Oh my God! He's gonna be out there calling out plays. I'm gonna hey, be a shift, wire it's shift, I'm shift, have shift a wire in. He's shifting. They running doodle. Uh huh. <laughs> he can't, 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 can't it. He can't it. Watch the doctor. Right, watch hey, the doctor. What, what can't say? He said, "Oh, you've been you've been watching film. Watch this." <laughs> shift fast left. Um, shift fast left. D bang, three scram. Um, X doodle. H docking. Can H docking. Can H you right there though. Yeah, you got it. You got okay. it. You got it, my boy. Congrats, hey, man. Now, you a quarterback now. Now, now, <laughs> now I'm a I'm a think what this means. I'm gonna drop the play. Okay. See, Just to see if see my you got. see if my film really I, I, I know you. That's hard because you know our concepts got like code words and whatnot. So unless y'all use the same code words, I don't think you're gonna get it. This eleven personnel? Yep. Okay. Is it <clears throat> Is it a bunch, two by two? It's a, it's a one by three. It's a one it's by a, three. It's really a one by four. It's really a one by four. Oh, that's all I need to know. Um, so I'm gonna say it like this. Shift, X doodle. So I'm gonna think of something like that. Um, we're gonna send him, clear that out. Um, and I think y'all gonna run one of these. Man, you trying to be offense coordinator in your, in, in a, the future, man, when your when your career so, done. So, so you drew I, two routes. You no, drew, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. You drew two, what's the other dudes running? So I, I feel like, um, a, a like doodle. I feel uh -huh. like that's like a zig or something. Like, a zig. Like a, okay, yeah, yeah. Like a feel? snag route. Yeah, a, like, a slant return. Yeah, something okay, like that. Because yeah, yeah. doodle. Because like, what would that mean? Like, I feel like that's something shifty. I don't know. Yo, I'm, I'm um, listening to you. Shift fast left. So I'm thinking he. Go, oh, you know what? Mm. That's not him. Mm-hmm. That's the tight end coming across. Okay, okay, okay. Flat. Shit fast left because okay. it's coming fast. You're going to clear him out. Doodle, come back. <clears throat> I got you. Let me draw this up for you real quick. Let me, let me get you that. So I'm hey, all the way who off. Who ran a comeback? Who ran a comeback? He, he ran the, a comeback? The, this receiver. That's a comeback? comeback? Yeah. That's a curl. Curl? That's a curl. That's a curl. Curl. That's a curl. <laughs> and the docking is the back this running this to the flat? Right here. I got you. Here we go. Camera. Talking to the mic. We're we, we we gonna, we gonna, we gonna take, <clears throat> we gonna take the back, shift him over here to a one by four now. Do bang. This is what we did against y'all. Bang. We chipping the edges. Mm. You feel me? Mm. Doodle. This is the concept. Of doodle. It's a deep through. He running a pylon. It's pretty much like a, a deep corner, if you will. He running a Dover route. Hey, show that and, to the camera. Yeah, we're gonna hit a little flat chip flats right there. Where the camera? Where, where we looking right here, man? Yeah, I mean, and then this this Micah drawing, this, yeah, yeah, close. He was close, my boy. Nah, I was all the way. Off. <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not even gonna lie. I was all the way. Off. Was close. <laughs> yeah, you can see I'm not gonna be an offense coordinator. In my Let me future. see the defense. What 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 defense you say you drew up? Two what what was it? Two. Two key dollar. <laughs> two key dollar. Nah, I'm. A, I'm, a, what, I'm, a, I'm a, what is that? Two key dollar. That's cover two. Nah, and that's uh, that's four. Like four match four. See that defense, y'all do crazy stuff. Like y'all call cover four two. You know <laughs> what? Some some teams do that. Like they do a match two. Like some teams do that. Like they scheme that up. It. it I wish you just call something like in Madden. Just just tell me I'm running cover four. Tell me I'm running cover two. T 
Tampa two. I mean, we do got that. Like cover two jam. Like we got a simple stuff like cover yeah, two yeah, jam. Yeah. Allen. Like that's what we call like cover three. Okay. Like, give, me some, give me another call. Um, you know this. This don't matter because we got. We right Are we writing this? Oh, we yeah, got new got, BC. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so okay, I'm, okay. I'm giving you the okay, school okay. for a whole different team. Okay. Now. Maybe if we play who? Washington Commanders. Yeah. 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 Maybe, yeah. Maybe we play them in the future. I'll take these notes down, man. You know, but it might be a whole different city now because he it's not Texas no more. <clears throat> Like so, all of the oh, that's Texas what that's, that was a code so word like, for him. So we'll have like Waco. That'll be a check to like a three by one. Like if you had speed at three. So if we was in like a regular cover three, we'll check to Waco, and the safety would come down strong. Mm -hmm. the three by the fast three. Mm -hmm. Like so, it'll be like it's Texas coverages. Like. You know coverages and all that. Yeah, because you was playing linebacker too. I had to. George you Edwards. Know, you know everything. George Edwards was the best linebacker coach I've ever. Had. That was your linebacker. coach? Besides, like Brent Pry was great for me in college, but in the league, like. George Edwards was number one. Yeah, I had to learn it, bro. And it has you playing everything, man. And the <clears> thing <throat> about it, when you learn everything, you know yeah. when to take your chances. Yeah. So like if we so we we played a lot of match tendencies, right? So and you know this. Mm -hmm. We play a lot of man match tendencies, mm -hmm. push through, because you saw it like y'all had yeah, slants. Same, same with slant our defense. Flats, with our defense like yeah. Like I saw it, like y'all schemed it up. When mm -hmm. you looked at three, you threw it straight to him because you knew that was the yeah, cover. Back like, yeah, back got to run with it. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> so <clears throat> with that, if you know, say we in that same man alignment, but we call it a cover two, but still look like man. Two mass, yeah. 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 Two, exactly. That's what we call it, two mass. We y'all y'all give a man alignments. Exactly. Match alignments, but y'all playing cover two out of it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm like, oh shoot. Well, if I know the coverage, now I know you might hesitate with the ball. Yeah. Cause mm -hmm. you might be like, oh, I got a man beater. Mm -hmm. Let me throw this. Oh, the corner stand right there. So all it takes is for me you to go like this. <laughs> hesitate. Pump. And that gives me that extra second that, that, that I might time. need. Yeah, that's one of the best coverages right there. It is. Two mass. Bro, we played, we was in training camp and we played uh, the Patriots and, and they out there, we had a, a man beater concept called. They giving a man alignments. They've been playing man all day. I'm like, oh yeah, here we go. I'm about to, about to look here, drop back, throw it. As I'm throwing, I see the corner just falling off. Sick. I said, oh, sick. Big. I said, oh yeah, that's a great coverage right there. I'm telling you, that's the one. I'm telling you, like, so <clears throat> I feel like, especially as rushers, you have to know the whole system. Like, you you got to know what's going to remind you because, like, that's when I'm pulling out my best pass rush. Yeah, that that's how you take it to the next level, though. Is you yeah. know what's going on in the back end and, and how much time you giving up and all that. I would say I would say that's like the biggest difference in each year. I progressed like learning the opportunities because there was opportunity where where Aaron Jones wasn't following me. Mm -hmm. and it was the holding one with uh, oh, Elton. Yeah, yeah with Elton. Yeah. But once I seen Aaron Jones out, I yeah. was like, oh shoot. I'm pulling on my best pass rush. Yeah, because I know that my opportunity. That's my opportunity. Mm -hmm. That's my that's my clear. And I was trying to get out of there on that one. Oh yeah, I was coming. I, I, yeah, I, felt, I that. That would have been a, that would have been a. I probably would have broke the tackle or something. Hell, I no. probably would have. You, you, there's no way. Did. There's no way you could believe that. You don't think so? There's no way you could believe that. That's another thing too. The other when y'all played us the first last year, you was playing linebacker most of the time. You wasn't even rushing like that. You you like playing linebacker or no? I do. I like uh, against a team <clears> like y'all. I do. What's that? Because your game plan was very simple, and I understood it. But you know how that you know how it go. Like sometimes you lose the simplistic. You're gonna. What you trying to say? What, you, what do you mean? You said our game plan was simple. Yeah, like you said, you're gonna come in and run the ball. Yeah, it wasn't simple though. I mean, you it's, know what I mean. Like, some stuff up. No, you scheme, scheme some, yeah. you scheme it, but it, the, like the simple <clears throat> part is like you know you're gonna establish the run. <clears throat> like you're gonna. Yeah, yeah. But how you scheme it is like where it gets mm -hmm. tricky. So against someone like y'all, I'm like, yo, I know on first down we have a high chance that's gonna be a run. Like y'all wanna get, especially because we know on film study, third and eight and longer is double chips. I mean, you kinda got to. You got you kind we need some time back there. Third and eight long, you need some time to get the routes down field. I, I understand. <laughs> I understand. So so where where do I really want you at? <clears throat> third and five, third and four. It might be a little bit of long game, depending where you're at in the field. You want us at third and four, yeah, because you don't want them chips. Yeah, I want you at third <laughs> you and four. You think the DBs want us? Want you want, want us at third and four? Or you think they want us at third and eight? I think they want you around third and four, third and five too, because that's where you get freaky, bro. And second down, if we have yeah. you at second and nine, you're not double chipping on second and nine. We could do anything. What you mean? Second and nine, you you want to get at least five more yards. Your play calls five more yards. <clears throat> And especially where you at. If you're in a plus territory, now you can do anything. <clears throat> but if you backed up, mm -hmm. 
high chance to pass. Most sacks come on more first and second down than third down because double chips, mm-hmm. things like that. Yeah. So when I say that is on first down, yeah, let me go ahead, back up, play your guard, whatever it is. You like, spe- you like playing on the edge more or you like playing inside? I like, bro, it just depends on the team. Who like, you going against, who they got at O-line, things like that. I'm a, and this is what <clears> frustrates <throat> me about AFC and NFC. NFC, we have all the, the smokers. You got Aaron Jones. You got Christian McCaffrey. You have oh, yeah, Tony Pollard. Oh, yeah. Like, um, yeah. Dalvin Cook just left. He was in the NFC. We're going to run the ball. AFC, mm-hmm. they're going to pass it 40, 50 times. They are going to throw it. Besides the Ravens, every AFC, AFC team is more pass. That's why we were shocked the Bills game. When they ran it 35 times and Josh Allen only had 90 yards. Yeah. Like no that was not a problem. I, mean, I think game plan. I think, yeah, especially watching that game too. That's kind of where we got that, you know, that game plan to run the ball, establish that run early. It's gonna help us out in the in the pass game. All yeah, that. The play action. Play action. Um, but after the first half, I knew what y'all <clears> were doing. Right? When y'all motioned, I knew the tight end was coming back. So I'm like, oh man, I got a line tighter. But without the just them cuts is without tough. the what? Oh yeah, you know, you know we're gonna catch you. The cuts we're is trying tough. to slow you down in but, any way possible. But that's what I'm saying. So mm-hmm. if I'm off the ball on that first or second down, and maybe we're in a fire zone or a mm, mm, fire zone where the safety's coming, mm-hmm. then we're slanting. It beats the it beats the slide. And then yeah. that, that make you like, oh shit, he's off the ball. Like man, I don't know how y'all do it with them cuts, man. Bro, oh. those should be taking out the game. You think so? Yeah. 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 Cause buddy, I know he came into the uh <clears throat> the film study the next day. When he cut me, he held my leg down. Like he grabbed my leg. Who you talking about? Who you talking about? I don't know which one it was. Who you talking about? On the Aaron bro? Jones touchdown, the goal line, 15 yard line. I know he came in and it was like, I held Oh, that's his my leg. boy Josiah. Yeah, I know exactly what play you're talking about. No, he didn't, bro. He that, grabbed was a, my that, leg. Was a, that was a clean he cut. Me and cut. My leg. Clean cut. He cut me and grabbed my clean leg. Clean cut, man. The ref was staring right at you. Be honest. The ref was staring right at you. I was say, right there too. Be I watched honest. Did he say it. grab my leg? It. Did he say grab my leg? No. It was he didn't clean. Say that. I'm bro, Mike, I'm standing there right there watching it. I'm watching it. Cause I know you got up mad too. Cause what'd he do? Grab my leg. He wouldn't let oh, me get up. No. You just mad that, that we over there cutting you, sifting you, all that. Cause you knew where I was at. <laughs> yeah, we had, yeah, we knew. <laughs> you see, like. I, the, the game plan, the game plan is simple. That you you gotta beat it. But it's cool. It's over with now. I'm not even gonna keep hashing we, it. We, we over it. I'm over it, bro. <sighs> I'm over it. It's over, man. It's over. That was it's a fun time. game, though. I can't lie. That was that was a. Nah, I, bro. When I came out to the game, I was like, bro, Jordan's tough. Yeah. Like I was like hyping you up, but like the some of the throws you made in that game was like I don't think like anybody like. Like you really showcase every arm talent. Like yeah. you was on that. Appreciate that, bro. Bean, man. Bean. I appreciate it, bro. Like I would have said something at the game. But I was like, fuck. It. I'm already knowing, bro. I'm, already, I'm. I've been there. Yeah, I know. I know that feeling, bro. I was like, I'm getting Trust out me. of here, bro. Like Trust me, I know. I wanted to cry. Like I just had to get to the locker room, bro. Like, now, stadium's cool. I, I like y'all stadium, man. That was, that was a. That was my first time up in there. I was a. I see. I see why y'all have such a good record at home, though, man. That's, that's special. It's, it's a great environment over there. It, it, it's nothing like Cowboys Nation. <clears throat> who, who, who's uh, your top five defenses? Top five defenses yeah. that I played this year. Yeah, that's a great question. Let's see. The Chiefs. Chiefs is hard. Chiefs tough. Um, man, I say I, I say I say the Vikings just because they throw so much at you as a quarterback in what terms of point? yeah, uh he's a he's a great coach. He but he knows what he's I mean, he throws so much at the quarterback in terms of protection and the O-line, protection, putting different guys up there. He's always mixing up the personnel. Um so you don't really you, you as an O-line, they sitting there trying to figure out who's a backer, who's a who's a rusher. Uh, so they just do a whole lot of stuff. They mix coverages up a ton. They got Harrison Smith out there disguising everything. So um, that's a lot mentally um, as a quarterback, I say. So, so they're a really good defense. And they, they got after us the first game, um, but we got them back the second game. But who would I say? Chiefs, Vikings. Man, 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 man. I need like a list of, of everybody we play right now. I'm blanking right now. Put me on the spot. Um, the Buccaneers, was, they, they, they had a, they, they're a good defense. They're, uh, they're, their coach is a, a good coordinator as well. 
Um, we've seen them a couple of times, but mm -hmm. they got some they got some good pieces over there. Um, man, I, oh, and the, the Niners, man, they they uh Niners very different. very good defense. I thought y'all I thought y'all had a great chance right there. Man, I think we 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 did. We we had a great opportunity, and uh, man, we didn't capitalize on it. But uh, like I said, man, they got a, they got a really good defense. Credit to them, man. They they do a good job. Obviously, um, they got a lot of pieces over there, man. A lot of pieces. Detroit. Oh yeah, Detroit. I'll put them up there because they got after this first game as well, man. Um, they don't. Detroit don't do a whole lot of crazy stuff. Um, they stop that run. They they do. They got they got a good front, man. They great stop front. that run. They, they, yeah. So I, I put them up there, but. Yeah, man. I, as a quarterback, I look at it as like, what do they do defensively? Like, how much do they throw at you? If it's a simple defense and they're not throwing a whole lot at you, like mentally, that's not a hard game. But obviously, if they got you know great playmakers, yeah, that's it. Might be tougher too sometimes when they like the 49ers, They do simple stuff, but they're so good at what they do, and it's like consistent. The discipline. They're just, yeah, the discipline. They're gonna do it every time, and they're gonna be good at it, and they're not gonna mess up. And when that's when I feel like when you start. Throwing a bunch of defenses out there and, and different looks, you can it, it's, it's possible to mess stuff up a little bit more. Um, so it's I, that's I don't interesting because yeah. on the defense side, we like man, we should throw more out there. Like we need to confuse them, disguise. Like it's interesting. You can, but that. at the same time, I feel like that can confuse you guys too. You know what I mean? You might because then now the offense motion in, you guys might have not got enough reps at that defense, so it, it might be your first time even seeing this formation, this motion. So. Now you're thinking a, a little bit too much, but when it's like a simple scheme and you know what you're doing, you locked in, to, you've seen everything. You've seen every motion, every formation in this in this cover three, in this quarters look. And I feel like, you know, you, you kind of know what, you, what's, what the beaters are and what the team's going to try to attack. And you know where your weaknesses are. That's that's the best defense right there. Okay. And let's get into this because I'm interested in this. <laughs> your draft process. Did you know you were going to be a first round? Did you know you were going to get taken by the Packers? Like it was a lot of controversy when it happened. Yeah, no, I wasn't like you, so I ain't I ain't know I was going first round, man. I I, <laughs> I had a lot of pre draft stuff out there. I didn't. I, it was it was up and down. Like it's up and down, but that's how the draft is. I mean, you I don't know how it was for you, but like that whole process. You go to the combine. You talk to every team in the combine. You meet with every team. All these GMs. And I feel like they're all, you know, they don't give you too much. They just ask you questions, ask you about yourself, ask you how you are as a player. And it's all kind of similar stuff. So you don't really get a feel who likes you. My year coming out, I knew that, you know, there were certain teams that were, were going to be taking a quarterback. Um, obviously, we knew Joe Burrow was going, he's going to the Bengals. Um, and it was kind of going to see what happens after that with the, the Dolphins, the Chargers, um, and just go from there. But, man, I had no idea. Um, I actually only talked to Green Bay – I talked to them at the combine, and I, t I actually talked to them uh, the night before the draft. I talked to Matt and uh, the offense coordinator uh, Nathaniel Hackett. So, but at the same time, like I said, you talking to everybody, so I, I couldn't really get a beat on, on who wanted me, who was going to pick me. Nobody's showing me their hand, um, so I ain't know. And then draft night unfolds, man, and obviously Joe goes number one with the Bengals, um, Tua to Miami, yep. uh, Jay Herbo to the Chargers, and I'm like, okay. That's the teams that need a quarterback. So that I, I knew need a quarterback. So it's like, okay, now nah, we're gonna play the weight game, see who needs it. I thought, you know, coming into it, I was like, okay, I, I'm gonna go first round. You know what I mean? Um, everything I was hearing was like, yeah, you're going first round. You're going first round. After those teams went, I was like, okay, man, what's what's up? <laughs> a lot of the waiting game. We were sitting there in my house waiting, like, okay, man, who's, everybody's getting taken off the board. No more quarterbacks getting taken. I'm like, okay, so. Who really needs a quarterback right now? And then, uh, yeah, man, we sitting there out of the blue, get that call. Green Bay, Wisconsin. Mm. Oh, okay. Hello? Yeah, okay. Green Bay Packers. <laughs> okay. Did you get any prank calls? I got prank calls, bro. I ain't get no prank calls, bro. Bro, that, bro, that, that'd be the worst. That's that'd be the worst. That, that's, that's messed up. My heart that's, dropped, bro. That's dirty. I got prank calls, bro. Who, call, who prank calls you? Bro, I don't know. I got prank calls. You answer? I you, did. You made bro. a happy light. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I was mad. Like, I was like, <laughs> Uh, the aerial code pop up too. Yeah, little, uh, you like, oh yeah, who who is this? Who's this? okay? I had got prank calls, bro. Like that, bro. When I tell you, I was so mad. What pick? Wait, what pick you went in the draft? I was twelve. You ain't had that. You ain't had to wait that long. You you couldn't get that bro, many prank calls. I want to tell you something. When you in the like, it's different when you're at home and you like comfortable and you're in your space. But you got my like, mind you, I had uh, I had NFL films. 
They was recording my whole thing. Yeah, they right there in your face. They in my face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every every pick going by. You know, they right there showing yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Agent in your corner, like, yeah, they're going with so and so. Like, and every team, because you got to think, all right, so Flores, before he went to the Vikings, he was in Miami. Mm-hmm. And he was like, you know, we like you. He was like, you, you, you are type of guy. So, you know, I was like, oh, there's a chance in Miami. Detroit came to my pro day and was like, man, if you at number eight, we taking you. Like, they. T- He's like, you ready to be drafted to the Detroit Lions? I'm like, oh, like, cool. Um, so then a couple of days before, it was like, yeah, um, they said, uh, Dallas is taking Pat. I was like, what? I was like, damn. And the day before that, and, and, and the day of, they was like, you might have a chance with the Broncos because Vaughn and, mm-hmm. you know, they was on a uh, way. So – I was like, man, like, there's only certain teams, and they said you could go to Philly, but I skipped my Philly interview. People don't know that. Ooh. Why you, know you ain't want to go there? I didn't want to stay home. Mm. Like, true story. Like, Dave called me, like, yo, you dealing with all this off the field stuff, and you not even gonna talk to Philly? Like, I didn't want to go home. That's crazy. So, like, when Philly fans like talk to me, like, man, you should come to Philly. I'm like, bro, I, I do not want to be. Why in, you ain't like, want to play at home? You want to get so, away? It's a lot, bro. Yeah, you, yeah, you probably know. When too you many when you at the there, crib, right? everybody want to come. Everyone, everyone yeah, yeah. being in mix, like yeah. the influence to always want to go back home. Like you, at some point, you just gotta be a man. Like I wanted to get fresh, like, yeah. and you gotta think. I went to Penn State. Like it was time for me to get out of PA. Yeah. So and you was at the draft, so I know that's a, that that was a great experience, bro. I ain't get that. The, the draft was cold, bro. <laughs> but the the panic, bro. So when it, it all, it, I, I say I'm in trouble. When um, obviously the three quarterbacks went, we had Trevor, Zach, and uh, Trey. Yeah. And then at four, when Atlanta took Kyle, I was like, okay. And where I was like, we we all anticipated this, but when five, when they took Jamar instead of Panay, I was like, oh shoot. That that was like. Oh yeah. That was like oh snap. And then when Miami took Waddle, and then. They see, took. See, that's the thing. You, you, that whole process. You looking at all the little, you know, the mock drafts, the way yeah. everybody got people going, and you hearing all the stuff, and then you get to the draft. You're like, oh, like it. it's nothing, nothing like it. it. It's nothing Te- like teams it. Teams are they hiding what they're going to do? And then and what happened? That. Then after that, they took JC at eight. Mm-hmm. And then because the uh, no, they took yeah JC was eight because the uh, the Lions they picked Panay at seven because yeah. they was like, oh, he's the best. Like they was like, oh, we want Panay. Which great pick still. Great pick. Um, and then when they took that, then the Broncos took uh, Pat. I was saying, oh yeah. So then I was like, oh, I could. And yo, it was crazy. My phone rang. At the prank call at right that moment. I was like, oh, I think it's Dallas. <laughs> and on TV, I see him trade back, and I said, wow. Who traded back? Dallas. Oh, it was at ten. Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh shoot. Like, I said, I'm in trouble. You had a feeling you was going to Dallas. I wanted to go there. That was like my dream That's location. Your dream. Like. And then, um, and then at ten when they took Devonte, that was actually your dream, or you just saying that? No, that was my dream. Like I was like, I want to go to Dallas. Like it was like a big thing. Like yeah. I was like, I want to go to Dallas. Like that's dope, I, bro. For me, like I'm from Harrisburg, so like I used to always see Texas homes. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. You gotta think like when you like when you a little like you ain't come from nothing. Like you know what always pops up like the Ben Wagner. Yeah. Like like you seeing them crazy. Like oh my god. Like they this much. Like okay. <laughs> So like, I was like, I'm gonna go to Texas. Like my family's huge Cowboys fan. But when they traded back, and then the Bears traded up, I said, "Man, I'm in trouble. I don't know who's gonna take me." And when I saw that stars, like who the Bears took? Oh, God, Justin Fields. Oh yeah, Jay Fields, man. Great draft class. I, I can't be mad. Y'all did, a, y'all did have a good. My draft class is great too. I can't. But that's the crazy part. You, man, I was so excited to go to the draft. It was about to be in Vegas. I'm like, oh, yeah. They talking about you about to be on the boat going across yeah. uh, the, the water right there. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is about to be, this is about to be cool. Got the fit lined up. COVID. And we in COVID. We, <laughs> we at the crib. Why? Getting drafted. They got one camera set up at the crib. And so you, I ain't going to say we got robbed the experience, but it's like no, you we, got def- robbed. we definitely you got missed robbed. out on that whole draft experience. You got robbed. Bro. But it's a, it's a blessing. Just like we there to get drafted. Obviously, and, I ain't there for that. And the, but the worst part about y'all draft was, well, well, you you used to be happy because remember when all them quarterbacks, uh, the next year when they only took Kenny Pickett in the first round when they took it back to Vegas, they took one quarterback. You talking first about round. they all sitting there? Yeah, and, four, yeah, I think three or four quarterbacks was stuck in the room. Yeah, that's like, the toughest part. They, they and they be putting a camera on them every time somebody yeah, get bro. picked. That's oh what my, I'm saying. Oh the draft room was terrible, bro. I'm glad and, I had the experience. Like and you got to think in the draft room, 
Every pick, another million and a half gone. It would have been, yeah, it would have been bad for me because I went 26. I would have been, they would have had that camera on me, man. Like, yeah, didn't you think you was going first round? Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, bro, you be seeing people in there stressing, like grabbing their head, like, bro, like, that's embarrassing, bro. People don't like, they don't realize, like, I feel like the draft should be selected, like, if you know they're not a for sure top 15, don't invite them. Like, it's uh, low that's key tough, though, because they don't know. Like, nobody know. Like we said, no, nobody know. They don't know who going, who going top 15 they for do. sure. They don't know who locked in. They do. Man. How do you think they be having like all the little, how do you think they be knowing before? I mean, you don't know because you don't know if your players going to get taken. Yeah. But then how would you feel? How would you feel? You didn't get invited to the draft and you go 16 or something and, and now you have the house and you're like, man, I could have been at the draft. Yeah, at the man. crib, I house could... party. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. You know, you were not the bowling alley, something like, <laughs> well, even then you, you still might, everybody there, you might not go for yourself. That's just a tough situation. It is what it is, man. But but post draft, you sitting by you you behind a great Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Arguably best quarterback. Um, I mean, yeah, arguably. Top five, wherever you want to put it. I think he's top five, top ten. Well, all time you're saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh easily. I mean, back to back MVPs too. Like, come on. Um, what was it like being behind him? Like for them four years, right? Three uh three years. Three years. Three years. Yeah. Um what'd you learn? Like what what was that? <laughs> Man, it it was awesome, man. Obviously, when I got drafted, you know that was my first thought. I'm like, man, they got Aaron Rodgers. Like, what, what, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be on the bench for a little bit. But uh, man, that whole three years was awesome, man. Obviously, when you come out of college, you you know you feel good. You, you go to the league, you like, man, I I killed it in college. I know what I'm doing. Like, I'm smart. I got to Green Bay. I seen him practicing. I seen him in the meeting room, and I was like, man, this is a different level. Like, a different level. Just his knowledge of the game. The way he was like, obviously, it's my rookie year, so I'm just learning the offense. You know, rookie years, it's tough. You know, you're trying to, it's a whole playbook you're trying to learn through training camp and whatnot. So I'm trying to learn that. And Aaron out there checking plays, making his own calls, doing all these signaling plays that he ran like in 2014 that uh, some of the receivers might not even know. And it's like, I'm like, bro, how are you doing? Like, how do you remember all this stuff? How, how do you remember these signals from six years ago? How do you remember these plays? So he's like a dictionary. Oh man, he he's incredible. Like Aaron is incredibly smart, um, very smart. Like his brain is is a very powerful tool he has. But um, not even that. That alone, man. Once once I saw him on the field and, and just saw the throws he made, it was like, bro, I thought I was good, but this this like is 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 humbling. I, I say that it's very humbling. What are three things that you took from him? that transpired to the year you had this year? Like what are the three things that, that, that was most valuable to you that he taught you or you learned from him mm -hmm. that allowed you to have, cause you, you had a better first year than him. And then how do you sustain that? Like what were those three things that you said like yeah. Aaron taught me I or always he gave say, to me? I always say the biggest thing I've seen from Aaron just watching him is the consistency. Every day, practice, game, like it's the same dude. And the plays I was seeing him making practice, bro, is. Like the game, you see him in the game, you're like, okay, yeah. I mean, I see this every day. Like, this is normal to us. But practice, I'm like, man, this is different. Just just his knowledge of what the defense is doing pre-snap and where he's going with the ball, how quick he gets the ball out. But consistency, that's that's when I saw that, I was like, man, I got I to gotta dive deeper, be better in practice, better practice habits. It's all going to translate to the game. And then, man, just playing the quarterback position, the way he's able to take care of the ball, um, you know, obviously – he won MVP by, by, you know, putting up a lot of touchdowns and, and take care of the ball, not having a lot of turnovers. So uh, just the way he's able to do that, process defense, if a play is not there, obviously, you know, we're drawing up these plays for certain looks. I think mm -hmm. you're going to have it. If we're not getting the perfect coverage for it, find that check down. Man. That's, that's, a, that's a huge lesson I learned from him. Because, you know, in college I came in, and my, my problem in college was I was forcing the ball downfield a little bit too much, trying to make, trying to make Superman plays and, and doing a little bit too much. So just taking advantage of those check downs and getting the ball to the playmakers. Um, and then, yeah, man. I mean, just the way he's able to lead, man. Just his 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 leadership, his knowledge of the game. Like just seeing that, it opened my eyes to a whole other level of just greatness. I, I think my favorite Aaron Rodgers story is, I, and when I knew he was like a dope dude, was uh, my rookie year when we played y'all. Right? That was no, it was my so uh, second in, in year. Lambeau. Yeah, that was last year. That was last year. My last second year. year. Uh, after the game, Aaron Rodgers comes and says, "Man, you." You great. Let's sit. Let me. I'm gonna send you my jersey. Send me yours. I was like, Yo, for real. Like, <laughs> I was like, Yo, for real. <laughs> like you, like you want my jersey. It, it's certain people that you look up to. Like your, yeah. your, like, like 
I'm like I'm watching Aaron Rodgers like my whole mm-hmm. life, like. And like when he did that, I was like, I was like, even though we lost, I was yeah. like, I was like, yo, hurry, take my jersey off, yeah. send that over, send that over. That's, that's special, like, bro. That's and, special. And I'm leaving the locker room, I'm like, hey, did he send it? He's like, not yet. It probably won't be a game more because he don't really send that. And I was like, nah, I don't care. It's Rogers. Like, as long as it comes, give me a jersey with that signature on there. And then he put it in my locker. He's like, yo, he actually gave you the game one. I said, for real? Ooh. And I saw bless the little, he bless the, you. He I, bless I, you. Bro, I saw the little dirt stay. I said, <laughs> oh, Rogers, the Oh, he goat. bless you. He bless you. <laughs> so I was, I was actually super excited. I, I was sick that he had that Achilles because I was like, yeah. man, he, had, he may have beat me. And I may have looked at it and I have a different level of respect for him. But I really wanted my revenge <laughs> for what he did. And he was coming to Dallas. So I was like, ah. This is the one. This and is the one. I was looking. I was trying to get your jersey after the game too. I couldn't find you. Uh, <laughs> you damn right. I, I, I was gonna send you the game one. I was gonna send you the game one. My jersey. It's cool. No, no. You know, I, I couldn't give it to you because I gave it to Rashid anyway. Oh, but oh yeah, I, yeah, that's your boy. I, yeah. Don't worry. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna get my revenge. On but you, no, man. that's how I felt too, bro. Like just you know, you watch, you grow up watching the game, and you watching Aaron Rodgers your whole life, and then I'm, I'm now in the quarterback room with him, listening to how he's, how he's calling these plays, how he's going about his business in the room. It was eye opening, bro. Eye opening. And, and you know why I say that is because certain quarterbacks, when they get to a certain level, like Aaron, they might be like, he, they would never do that. They'd be like, you just a good player, like nice me and you, cool on. But he was like, nah, like you gonna be the one. He's like, keep going, man. Like I want your jersey, bro. I know you are gonna be great. Like mm-hmm. I, I don't see that from a lot of vets, bro. Like why is that? Like who's some vets that took you under your wing or said something to you? Like like I know that like Aaron, like he didn't take me under wing, but he showed mad love, like. Mm-hmm. Man, I mean, I besides my team, like just being being a quarterback. Obviously, you know, we go to Austin um, in the off season, being around all, all the Davis guys, Deshaun, um, and uh, just just seeing the impact he had on the field and, and how good of a player he is, and just being able to work out with him, um, it, that's special. And then obviously, man, when I came out, um, I trained with my quarterback coach Steve Calhoun, and uh, he works with receivers too, Keenan Allen. He's out there working out with us. So and, uh, and throughout college, man, I'm training with Keenan, man. So that's a guy I look up to, man. Yeah, Keenan's a good Keenan's dude. Keenan's a great bro. dude, bro. So I, I was able to work out with him, see him, be able to talk to him. So man, it was awesome, man. Yeah, he special. always shows mad love. He, he shows love, man, and, that, and that's special. Well, what was your uh, welcome to the NFL moment? I got one too. Oof. My wel- <laughs> bro, my welcome to the NFL moment, my first start in Kansas City. Oh, Aaron, I forgot. Aaron I forgot. get COVID, and and, and uh, I found out that week they're like, "Yeah, you starting?" And I'm like, "Okay, okay, let's do it." I forgot about that. Yeah, bro, yeah. I got all out it like <laughs> multiple times, to- like 15 times, bro. bro. And I did, I could not have, I, I couldn't get an answer for it, and they just kept sending. And I was like, I was sitting there like, bro, y'all had no this chance. The, this the like, NFL, like <laughs> they just they just blissing on blissing <laughs> on blissing. <laughs> Like, now they was gonna make you make a read. That was gonna make you make a read. Gonna make, they gonna make you find an answer and yeah. pick up that protection, and, and and that's the thing. Like that was my my when I learned, I'm like, okay, if you, if it's the NFL, if you don't if you don't have an answer for what they sending, they gonna keep sending it. Keep sending if, it. If it's working, what if it ain't broke? Don't 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 switch it up. So you see that everywhere, man. And that was that was one of my tough games, just because you know you want to. It's your first start in NFL as quarterback. You want to. I wanted to go out there and play my best game and, and do all these great things and. That's not how it went down, man. That's, that's yeah, not how it went down. I, you know, I, I'm similar to you, bro. Like, my first start, I, you know, because when I got drafted to the Cowboys, like, I didn't realize how how big it was. But mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I'm prime time, Monday night, Tom Brady. I'm like, oh, I got the GOAT, first game. Like, cool. Boy, he dissected me so bad. I, that that was the first time I like I've never seen like because usually like, uh, in college like when you when you like on a man, he ain't gonna throw it. Like mm-hmm. they just gonna take it. They might run or throw it out. Bro, it was like I've never seen ball placement like that. Like I was like, bro, like, and I was so Great tired. Man. Like he had Great. me so tired. Like, like he had me running all over. Like they did so much stuff. Like they dissected me. Like, and they're gonna, they gonna pick that's Brady, man. I was the same way. They was like, oh, he's but a also bust. too. Like you said, like just being around Aaron, man. I like it's out because I'm at practice sitting there. I hear the play call. I'm like, okay, this is what we got. I'm seeing the defense. Like, okay, they might be doing this. And he's out there calling people out. Yeah, you're coming. You're coming. Change the protection. They trying to bluff. The dude, the dudes on defense look around like, like, how he know I'm coming? Like I'm trying to disguise this. Um, man, he see it all happen. He doing um, the crazy stuff ever is seeing his no look passes in practice. Bro, those is crazy. Man, he's sitting here looking this way, throwing it over here. I'm sitting there like, nuts. him and Stafford are the best at that. <laughs> yeah, Stafford's nice too. Stafford's very nice. Yeah. And the, the crazy part about it is, you know, you do like being a quarterback. You, I seen that stuff, and I was like, man, I don't, I don't, I'm gonna try some no look passes, and you. You gotta be confident in that. 
Cause you you really not looking at a receiver. Like you think it's a game. You think it's just easy. Yeah. You really not looking. If you miss that pass, they gonna be like, "What are you doing? Right? Why are you not looking at the receiver? Like, look at him." So it's you, it's a make or break. And Stafford, he be put he be putting them balls on the money doing on the, the money. I, Stafford's the most underrated, like legendary Q, QB in the league right now. I don't now. think he underrated. I don't think people appreciate him, bro. If, if you if you look around the league, I think he's so underappreciated. Like, there's a couple people that might call it out, but the stuff he does doesn't make the same attention as Mahomes, yeah. Lamar. Like, yeah. he's underappreciated. I, I don't think I, I think it's made because he's older, yeah. but I think he's very underappreciated. In this I league. agree. Yeah, he's definitely been doing some of the crazy passes and things like that for a long time. Long time. And, yeah. I and now it. they're like trying said, to yeah. they're trying to make it seem like oh, this is new because the the younger generation they want to point out a narrative. Yeah. But I don't I don't think he gets the love he deserves. He got a Super Bowl ring, man. Yeah, that, that I'm I'm happy he got that too. Yeah. Cause he he he's definitely. I, I don't think, think he underappreciated. I think I think. I think when you play him, I think you players know. know. I think players know. Players, players know, know, but the yeah, people game recognized don't. game, man. The people don't. That that be the thing. Who cares? That who cares? Who cares? But I, I hate that they don't yeah. appreciate it. Like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I hate that for him. You know, but bro, I'm telling you, them first games when you struggling, boy, there's nothing like it, bro. Yeah, it's like, man, man we, why we draft a linebacker? Right. Bro, the from, hate is crazy. I would say from week one to five, it was like, man, we don't know about this guy. Six to fourteen, when I caught my rhythm, we got the best player, defense player of the year. The switch up, huh? Yo, the switch up is crazy. Yo, how we get the best player in the league? We got, yo, oh, uh, I'm telling you, they turn quick, bro. Oh, <laughs> bro, it, it's it's honestly crazy, bro. <laughs> That's a crazy part, man. I ain't, even, I ain't. I got my one start in Kansas City, and people was people was telling me I'm done after that. They were saying I'm a bust. You know, I need to get Bro. traded. I'm not. I'm like, all right. I'm, I'm on the pod saying, yo, what are y'all doing? I, I Can he one, get an adjustment period? I play one game. I play one game. We had we had that incident. This coming into it, dudes talking about, oh, he can't play football. I'm, I'm telling my you, my boy Devondre Campbell. He stood up, man. He's, he's just talking about, man. Let, hey, he ain't played. He had one start. I appreciate him for that, but it's bro, it's crazy how he, they do it. Even your first five, I was like, bro, can he get an adjustment period? Like, yeah, man. He yeah. like he's getting a new feel. Like he got to get his confidence. Like really, like people don't realize, bro, confidence is everything in this league. Mm -hmm. Like if you don't believe that you can compete against the best, mm -hmm. like and, and you know, and the coaches don't make it fun either because they come and film. They be like, man, look at his highlights. They play all the good shit. Like <laughs> they be like, look how good he is. Look how dominant he is. Look how fast he is. Like and you just like, yo, look at the defense. Like. <laughs> And you be like, oh shoot, like they kind of throw right, a little. Right. Yeah, they, <laughs> they, they try to get you prepped for that. Yeah, like in my mindset, I'd be like, sometimes I'd be watching, be like, man, F him, bro. He's not that good, man. Yeah, on God, I'd be like, he's not, not that, that good. That's how you got to have that though as a player. You got you, to. Man, they not that good. We better, we better destroy them. Man. I, I low key be, I like, like when I know I got a top tackle, like I be getting excited. Like, I mean, you want to play against the best. You do. You want to play against the best. You do. Don't, don't, don't. You want to play against the best, bro. You do. You play against like, I, like I get excited. Like people, are like man, why don't he want to move? Like why don't he want to rush? Mm -mm, I want him. Yeah, that's because I gotta see how good I truly am. It's gonna give you, you more confidence to. too. You got to go out there and start eating. It's gonna give you that confidence. Who who would you say your top five trash talkers? In the league? Anybody talk trash to you? Man, some dudes talk trash, but I feel like in in the NFL, man, I feel like this is what I've seen. If you're not talking trash, like. Dudes don't make it a point to just track talk trash, but I seen uh, top trash talkers uh, in Detroit. Chauncey Gardner, uh, he he be talking, he be talking a lot of trash. We played, we had them in a training camp, man. He just talking the whole time. Mm -hmm. um, who talked some trash this year? I got into it with. Uh, who did I get into it with? I'm blank, I'm blanking on his name right now, but. Man, I, I personally don't talk a lot of trash out there, so I feel like people don't talk trash to me. Like people might run by and say something, but it's like, all right, bro. Nah, people be talking crazy to me. But that's you that's different, man. That's like a one on one battle, you know what I mean? I only get trash talk if somebody like sack me or something like that. Or you go on the side if you run out of bounds on the sideline, you're gonna get you gonna get some trash talk from the sideline. But the crazy part is I get like trash talk off double teams. Yeah, like they be like, like you ain't like doing nothing today. Like, like, yeah. like, 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 like what you want me to do? <laughs> they be like you ain't getting, you, know, you ain't coming in here. No, but it's, no, no. A, it's all the mind games. That is, that's, that's just trying to get in your head. You know what I mean? Trying to trying to get in your head. And but I don't talk trash, so I don't feel like I get a lot of trash. But like I said, when you go on that sideline, you gonna hear some stuff. If you go on the, the other team's sideline, you don't know who's saying it. You might look back. You don't know who's saying it, but you, you gonna get some trash talk. Like, Are you talking trash out there? I, I ain't hear you when we was playing. I, I, I ain't hear, I ain't hear you. What was there to say? 
Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> that's true. What, what was I just say? That's why I said like I feel like people don't be talking trash. Like that, I, I don't talk trash a lot, but sometimes people get me hype. Yeah. Like I'm not even gonna lie. Like me and Panesu, I got into it. Yeah. Like uh, they would slide in my way. Like sometimes we'd be one on one. Sometimes we'd be like, man, see my help right there, and that got me so mad. <laughs> it was like we gonna win this game. We gonna. Uh, and we just started getting into it. I was like, "Nah, you suck. You can't like like I was like 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 when you in them pivotal moments, like you really start like I get hot like because especially like, it's the frustration too. Yeah, that frustration build up. Yeah, but no, nah, somebody told me a, a crazy thing. It was like, yeah, the young the, like younger guys in the NFL, those ones that be talking trash, like rookies, first second year players. They said the vets don't be talking trash. They they been there, done that. They try to save their energy. They don't. They ain't trying to talk. give you no extra motivation. Yeah, you don't need no extra motivation. We yeah. all know what we're trying to do. Literally. <laughs> yeah, I don't talk trash, bro. But if we see you again, I'll talk. Man, the biggest game of the year, we both here right now, so you know we're not in it. <clears throat> it's devastating. I mean, who you got? Man, I I don't really care who win, but I, I've been telling people I got the Chiefs just because, man, we just played the Niners. We lost to the Niners. I'm not I'm, trying to see the Niners win. The same way, I'm bro. not trying. I, we just played them, bro. We just lost. Like, <laughs> I'm the same way. But bro. we play. I mean, we played both teams this year too. So we beat the Chiefs, lost the Niners. So it's gonna be a good game. I know that. It's gonna be a great it's game. It's gonna be a great game. It's gonna be a great game. I, Who you got, bro? For me, it, it's it's about the defense, bro. I think if the if Kansas City can be aggressive with Debo, their DBs is good. McDuffie. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they got good DBs. Uh, there. Snee. Willie Snee. Yeah. Um, if they could be aggressive with IU, Debo, tackle well in space, um, get them down the first tackle, not let them just break tackles and get upfield. Because that's what they try on. Quick pass, Debo, you break a tackle, you go They're for trying six. Trying to get in the playmaker's hands, man. Right. Which is smart. I think if they could tackle well, they could win. Because they, they did it against the Miami. I think that's a good part about it. Like the Chiefs, they got experience with that elite. Repertoire of weapons, like mm -hmm. so. I'm gonna be very interested to see how they adapt to the Niners because I do think the Niners have the upper hand because I think Christian McCaffrey is the best running back right now. In the yeah, he's a freak. He's um, crazy. Debo, crazy obviously, good. one of the best, mm -hmm. you know, yak yardage wide receivers. Mm -hmm. um, Ayuk, he's a great deep threat. I think he's a. That's my guy. Ba, he's. I nice. think he's a top ten. Nice. Like his route running. Like, did you see he had 1,400 yards and was ranked 30th in targets? That's crazy. That's nuts. Crazy. Like I saw that stats, I was like, "Yo, that's unbelievable." Yeah, the, the yak is crazy. He's underappreciated too. Yeah, I mean, they got so many weapons on their team. And I mm -hmm. hope he gets paid in free agency. Like, I think, like when he paid. get them, he might come up. You think the Packers? I don't know, bro. I don't, it might be a, like he, he the Forty Nine ers probably gonna keep him. Why would they not keep him? They ain't do it yet. He hits the market and yeah, we gonna Ray, see. that's uh, my dog. He, though. Shout he out hits BA, the market man. in twenty, you know, fifteen days after this game. Yeah, but. I mean that's a, that that that's the whole time the the game plan for the Niners, bro. You gotta stop Chris McCaffrey, bro. Got to. But it's so it's cold. Easier it's said than done. Easier you know what said mean? than done. Just tackle, just tackle Christian, just tackle Debo. It's easier said than done. The craziest part is like you you wouldn't even think like he's so hard to tackle, but he's the most like I don't know his sudden change is crazy. He's, he 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 elusive. Super elusive. Like I don't know. Like it's like you got him in your hindsight, and like you you don't think he's as powerful as he is. So I think a lot of people underestimate him, but he's like. Powerful, elusive, like he, he's a do it all bet. Yeah. But man, Jay, man, I appreciate you having on show. This is this was unbelievable. Um, thank you for coming on, even though we got rivalry beef. Um <clears throat> we almost had to, like I said, we, we got into it a little bit prior. We got into a little bit on here, but man, I appreciate you, man. Anything you want to say to the people? Oh uh, man, all I gotta say is shout out to all them Packer fans, Packer Nation out there. Go pack go, man. We we gonna have a great season next year. Hopefully, we get to see this dude again, man. Talk a little trash to him out there, but uh, nah, man, I'm excited. Excited to see the Super Bowl, but uh, man, we I'm gonna be there, man. And I hope you get paid, bro. Hope you get that. I, you earned it, bro. For real, yeah, man. I hope so too. Fingers Thank crossed. you, brother. <laughs> Thanks Love. for having me, bro. Love, yes, sir. Much love.